So Christian, do you want to explain what, what kind of piece you're using and what you're doing? Yeah, so this, this piece here is a, um, sorry, this piece here is a, uh, a cat plastic and silicon piece. Uh, it's a swelling that's, it's not made for Mike, it's made for generic. So so that's, that's, that's what the piece looks like. So it's just a, a top eye swelling, eyelid swelling and a lower lid swelling. And what we do is we then cut through this here where the eyelashes would be, open that up and let the lashes through. Oh, so there's still a bit of movement on there. And we stick it all down, preferably using Prose, just because it's a little bit more gentle around the skin uh, and around the eyes, shall I say. And, uh, and once that's all tacked down, we then go around it with uh, alcohol, dissolving, dissolving that edge away. Uh, and then we'll, we'll build up on colour to sort of make it look more, well, more recent, because it's going to be quite a bit bruised and red yeah, and yeah, yeah. broken veins and stuff. So, uh, and that, that's basically that's what stage right now. But what we'll do is we've also got other swellings that we'll put under this side. Um, not so heavy, because nine times out of ten, when you get hit on one side, the swelling and the blood travel, it does travel across, and you always get Nine times out of ten, we get these like black on this side, maybe not swollen so much, but it does travel across. So we're going to put a little bit of travelling across here. We've then got scars and grazes, grey bondos, and silicon transfer cuts. I mean, to be honest, it's all going to be out of context, because we're just going to a mishmash of different yeah, yeah. materials just to sort of get a, an overall look but it's just, um, it's just a demonstration of how Prombo Pro Bondo Pro Bondo <laughs> it can work very well with silicon you don't you're not you know shooting with just one material on the face at all you can use scar material you can use tattoo transfers with scuts and scratches yep. scratch blood we'll be using it's just to get you use everything yep, yep. you use dirt we've got grease we've got the um, day down grease drop of dirt um, so we'll be putting that around certain areas just to make it like really big through the walls. And uh, that's it, and then some rubber dust as well. Fantastic. Like so a lot of these products are from the makeup range. That's right, yeah, yeah. so from Dave Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that, and so that's a, that, so the silicon. Include, including the Pro Bondo as well, you know. The Pro so Bondo, yeah, yeah. So um, the silicon is encapsulated because um, you can't bleed edges away with silicon, so the cap plastic. So you could you, you could use this. This could be a gelatin piece. Yeah. But the only thing with gelatin around the eyes, I've had this conversation with you before, is that the eye waters yeah. and then the eye water breaks down the gelatin and you get issues. Yeah. And, yeah. As well with silicon, it kind of stays there all day. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's not the most comfortable thing to wear. Um, I must admit, I've, I've had one on. Yeah. So it's not, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you know that somebody's going to be wearing for a long period of time. Tend to actually tape their eye down yes. and punch it, punch this with Hair. the hairs, so yep. there is a yep. lash there. Yep. Yep. So they're, therefore, their eyes punch stuff. Yep. There's no movement. Yep. There's no issue. Yep. 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 But for the purpose of this, we just thought we'd do it at like yep. speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. So, so we'll come back. So you're going to bleed the edge. You started bleeding all, away all, there. What we'll so. do is we're going to put all the pieces on, so you can see it all naked. Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll start to build up bruises. Yeah. And then the last thing to go on will be the blood. Because it's the thing is, it's very easy just to put on a cut and just chuck loads of blood all over. It. But less is more, I think, with yeah. fashion makeup. If you just have a little bit of blood trickling down, just have all the open wounds, it actually looks like a nice makeup before you then hide all, yeah, yeah, all the yeah. problems with blood. So, yeah. I mean, you can do a casual makeup very, very quickly yeah. if, you, if you know that's going to be covered with a lot of blood. Yeah. But yeah. what yeah. I want to try and demonstrate is the stages of when we can see progression. Because the first time we do it, when we colour it up, could be that it's actually been cleaned up at the hospital. Yeah, yeah. The next stage is before it's been cleaned up at the hospital, yeah. and then the next stage is well, the scene, the scene yeah. of the accident. Yeah. So it's, yeah. you, can, you can actually build up and like, yeah. see those three different progressions. Brilliant. Brilliant. So you've got a mixture of things on the face now, Christian. So you, yeah. th this is your silicon piece that we saw earlier. What else have you got there? Uh, well, these are silicon transfers. Um, because they go beyond a certain depth that Pro Bondo can't handle because it doesn't go off, um, as soon as it gets to a certain depth, we, we transfer to silicon. Uh, so it's cat plastic again with silicon. We scrape it in the mold exactly the same, clean up the edges. Um, but what we do is we actually put the prose to the back of the piece, we prose the skin, we do a transfer exactly the same way as Pro Bondo. It comes out fine, you just dissolve the edges. This is, a, this is exactly the same material. Yeah. Um, and this cut here is the same, again, because it's too deep. Now, these little scratches and nicks and cuts and, and scuffs, they're Pro Bondo. They're and that's, so they're big, shallower. They're shallower, yeah. so therefore you yes. scrape them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what you can do with Pro Bondo, what I've done in this past, if it's something this thick, you scrape it really heavily once, let that go off. Yeah, So I've it's just it. the surface, yeah. and then you chop it up. Yeah. Um, which is fine, it's not a problem. Yep. 
So there's, there's two things on here now. We've got the silicon pieces, encapsulated silicon, and we've got right. the probondo pieces, which are shallower because probondo went dry. Right, yeah. deep mold. Um, and the good thing about probondo, I mean, this is like the transfer. I mean, they make the prosthetics are already on. They're done. So it's just a case of colouring it up, dirtying it down, putting grease around to it, breaking this up. You know. Just pulling it all together, really. Just, yeah. 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 just dressing it now. I yeah. mean, it's very, very fast. Okay, this is Mike, and Christian's now finished his um, beaten up sort of dirt makeup. So, Christian, do you want to just go through? Because last time we saw you, you put so we some had of all the... the pieces on last yep. time. So the first, the first thing that we did with all the colour and all the pieces, we just warmed them up, just to bring them, uh, give them late blood running through them. Uh, and then once we had that, we put in the bruised tones, which are the blues and the purples, not making them too vibrant because we wanted to make it look quite dull and, and dirty. Um, once we'd done that, Steve went in with the colour and picking out all the reds and picking out all the little details. And while he was doing that, I was going around with a drop of dirt uh, and just putting it on a, um, a, a sponge and literally just working it out, rubbing it off as well as rubbing it on, really working into the skin and just picking out certain areas that I, you know, I thought it would work, especially in the ears. There's always something that we've got on hand behind the ears. Just, again, there's always got to the back of the neck. Um, and once we've done that, um, I basically went on with some uh, rubber dust. Okay. Now, rubber dust is great on its own, but if you mix it with Crozade, put it in a cup, mix it around, yeah. and then just put it up, apply it with a brush, and what you'll find is actually it, it sticks to the skin, so yep. um, it doesn't sort of shift. Uh, once we've done that, we actually then went in with liquid blood. Uh, we went on with um, went on with the sugary blood, the HD blood first, uh -huh. and then it, we went we got sort of hatched over. Um, the dry blood on the outside surface, and we also used the scabby blood as well, the okay. dry scab blood. So we used that to sort of pick out details like this horrible dry bit of blood bogey that we got going on here. The clotted blood we actually used that underneath there, and just picked out a few areas where it'd be nice to have shiny, but we don't want it to constantly have to go in and dribble blood, dribble yep, blood. Yep, yep. We just want it to sort of sit there and give an image. So those bloods will keep their shine, so they'll look like yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Um, and the, the good thing about the dry blood is it's just nice to patch it around in places. You don't need to put it everywhere. Because once it's there, it stays. It's where the HD blood is just it's t it's tacky. So if you cover an actor in the, the bloody sugary blood and it's got a bit of a tack to it, it's, you're going to constantly replace it. And, you know, it's kind of nice to do as much as you can with paint and bloods that dry. So then you're not having to go in time and time again. Uh, and it's, it's easier for continuity, I think, if you use dry blood. And... So in a nutshell, if you were trying to find a blood that's going to stay wet looking and you're not going to have to go in, which one would you use for makeup range? Oh, if you want it, I actually think the, the sugary blood is actually sugary the best. Okay. It does stay tacky, but it doesn't shift, it doesn't okay. roll everywhere. Um, and the, uh, the scabby blood is really yeah, good. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. It, it dries quite quick, so you've only got a little bit of wait time, but you get in all your deep crevices and all the cuts and get the shine sitting in there. As soon as the top light hits yeah. it, the depth is already there, and yeah. you don't have to play around too much with it. You also, you then start to put a bit of, bit of colour around this side just to balance it out a little bit. And then we actually use Dave's ice, ice gel, oh, right, yeah. um, just on, on here, just to give it a shine because because it was coloured with Illustrator. I mean, to be honest, with a black eye, it's probably best to use grease paint, to be honest. But because it was silicon and I had a translucent, we use Illustrator, it, it mats it down with the Illustrator. So just to put the shine back in it. We just topped it off with a bit of the, uh, the ice gel from uh, makeup, and, and that just sort of brings it brings it back out rather than looking like a flat prosthetic. Uh, and that that's it. That's what we've done. We sort of put a bit of grease in here. We sort of took the dirt right into his hairline, yeah. and you can just turn your head. We actually just put a bit of the dry blood yeah. up here. Yeah, always just looks good in the hair. Just it? to sort of yeah. suggest that yeah. it's not just conveniently around the hairline. And, and that's it. But the, the the rubber dust is great. Yeah, it just yeah. stays all day. I mean, He'll probably hate it at the end of the night because yeah, it's going to be. Well, it won't come off. <laughs>